G13. First of all, we'd like to start off by telling the USWA we appreciate him giving us one last chance to say our words before we go. What I would like to start off by saying was I'd like to thank each and every person watching this show, whether you loved us or you hated us. I'd like to thank you for your support and let you know that it wasn't for you that PG-13 would have never made it where we made it today. Now we face the toughest challenge of our life, which is having to go somewhere else and try to start over, basically make another name for ourselves where we can feed our families and ourselves. But there comes a time in a man's life when he's got to do what he's got to do. And Tommy Rich and Doug Gilbert did what they had to do to stay in the USWA. So J.C. Ice and Wolfie D. have to pack up and move on. But I just want to thank each and every one of you people from the bottom of my heart and let you know that J.C. Ice will always remember the fans of the USWA, and I hope you never forget us, and I thank you for all your support. Wolfie? Yeah, well, you basically covered everything there. I just want to thank everybody again for supporting PG-13 from when we were two little guys that nobody took seriously, and we got beat every night till where we worked hard and became champions numerous times. And I want to thank everybody that stuck with us through all of that. This is something I've, I've grown up in Nashville my whole life, and now, like you said, we've got to pick up and we've got to move on. But I guess sometimes in your life you come to a fork in the road, and you've got to decide which way you're going to go. Maybe PG-13 is going to remain a team and we'll go somewhere else. Maybe we'll go our separate ways. Maybe we won't never wrestle again. I don't know, and he probably don't know right now. This is a big decision. But I just want to say thank you to everybody, and we appreciate everything everybody's done for us. Thank you, USWA. J.C. Ice, Wolfie D, PG-13, and our final uh, comment from the tag team of PG-13. Well, here is Scott Bowden. That had to be the saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. Where was that interview taking place? I think that was the that was the Greyhound bus station downtown, wasn't it? Huh? Hey, they don't know what to do now? Hey, I heard McDonald's is hiring, but I think they're underqualified. You know, the name of the game was losers leave town and for once one of randy hales's matches actually lived up to the billing because the two biggest losers i've ever met in my life are gone their history sarnara so long suckers and i know some of you idiots over here from the hood may not understand matches that have stipulations so what i did i brought out my own hood dictionary here i got a glossary of terms what it's all about Yo, 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 my two homeboys, Tommy Rich and Doug Gibbett, I put the stone cold diss on those two turkeys, PG-13. And if you don't like the way we did it, talk to the hand, because the ears don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Tommy Rich and Doug Gibbett, Scott Bowden, the championship dynasty is here. We're going through them all. I told everyone when I started Operation White Trash that we were going to clean up all the garbage. We got two down. Brian Christopher, Jerry Lawler, look over your shoulders, baby. Operation White Trash is in full swing. Yeah, they're loving it. Scott Bowden, Tommy Rich, and Duck Gilbert. <laughs> Real funny, Rich. Oh, Tommy, Tommy, let me get that for you, baby. Oh, where are they at? I wish that we beat all the WWF boys, but we tell you something, you take it to the bank. Where is Jamie Dundee? Well, they took it like a man. They took it like men, and they lost the match, and they're gone. They are gone for good. So all you need to do is we got the gold now, brother. Step in line, boys, and bring it down. Because Dangerous Doug and myself, we ain't never run from nobody. And we sure as hell ain't starting now. Now see, Corey Macklin, what Tommy Rich is actually trying to say. We've had a lot of real important matches with PG-13. We've had hair matches. What happened? They got their heads shaved. We had cage matches. What happened? They got beat. We had a loser leave town match, and what happened? We're standing here, and they're gone. Now, Corey Macklin, let me give the devil their due. All I've heard you stand out here say, all I've heard old dinosaur Lance Russell stand out here and say, is PG-13 is the toughest tag team for the last three years. They've held these tag team belts you're looking at around my waist and over Tommy Rich's shoulder for about the entire past three years. We'll see PG-13 
for the last three years, it's been nothing but PG-13 in tag teams. Tommy Rich has been a single champion all his life. I am a five-time USWA heavyweight champion. Don't forget that. So what I'm saying is, boys, for the last three years, you were the men. No, no, hold it. They won't be back because they lost the Loser League Town match. But what I am saying, Tommy, while, while we're the champions, Randy Hills, I think... What you need to be, see what it's like when you're at the A class, you're at the top. When you're on the A crew, you're on the top. When you're in the B crew, you're just a little bit below. Well, see, PG-13, you're not even on a crew. See, the B crew was PG-13, but I'm going to be honest with you, Corey Macklin. Now, I don't know if Tommy is sad or not, but I'll be honest. I'm glad pg 13 has gone because I'm glad we don't ever have to deal with them again because what... Why don't you quit mumbling while I'm talking? But what I do want to ask Corey Mack if I can get between your mumbles is if Randy Hills, which I know is around here somewhere, if I could get him out here, what I'm wondering now, since me and Tommy are so much above everybody, if he could get us any kind of competition. He's probably back there crying because Wolfie D's gone and can't ride with him. Oh, uh, uh, come on, Rich. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. You have a match in the ring now, Doug. Let's go up to the okay, ring. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's, that's right. No, 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 no. Hold it, guys. Hold it. This is serious. Randy, I understand where you're coming from because, see, Tommy, I walked in a little bit in front of you this morning. And Randy Hells, I don't even really know how you found your way to Memphis to the studio in that Cadillac without Whoopi D driving you. See what happened? Look, Tommy, I walked in the door this morning and Randy Hells was down like this with his tail going, uh, 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 my little boy love, my little boy love. But see, Randy Hills. Hey, you shut up. I'm sick of this. Everybody knows exactly how you won the match. It's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. But I'll tell you this. All week long, I've had about 30 teams call me wanting to come to the USWA. About 30 different people. Uh, you want competition, you'll get competition. I promise you. And you won't be laughing next week. I promise you. Well, that's the word from promoter Randy Hills. He's you want Randy Hills? He's threatening us. He's threatening us. We got a match coming up. Yeah, let's get to it. Finally, maybe we can get these guys in there. Scott Bowden, Tommy Rich, and Doug Gilbert. Come on. USWA Tag Team Champions, and of course, this is a non-title match. For this TD Steele starting off for his team of TD Steele in the yellow jacket. Taking on Tommy Wildfire. Dangerous Doug Gilbert. The USWA Tag Team Champions with Scott Bowden in their corner. I'll tell you guys, guys, they don't miss you starting out today. Starting start up front, the ruckus out here. I thought it couldn't get worse than that. I think it just did. Yeah, I think you're right about that, Sid. Wildfire Tommy Rich takes TD Steel and deposits him on the floor. Yellow Jacket, the partner of TD Steel. And while we've got it going, referee Chip Namias. In his first, oh man, I'm oh. telling you, he popped him right over and down on the studio floor, Sid. Not again. Oh, wow. Did you hear that, Lance? Man, I can't believe he's getting up. Oh, come on, Doug, do it in the ring. Not three times. Corey, get up and stop this. Oh, man, I can't. Get up there, Corey, stop this. About this. I guess this is what Randy Hales meant by all this tough competition. Oh my, we are so overwhelmed, let me tell you. Wildfire Tommy Rich, belly to belly, and he takes him over and down. TD down in the middle of the ring. Yellow Jacket comes in, puts a foot on Rich to break it up for the bowl. Seems like Scott Bell never stops. It's on and on and on and on with him. What do you You've think? You've noticed, huh? Boy, I mean to tell you, he can get on your nerves so bad. Hey, just stay in yeah. there and wrestle with you, guys. 
He's always got to direct it to us. We're not the ones that line up the competition for him, because I'll tell you something, if I was in charge of that, I'd have some competition up there for him. Well, here's a tag man on the Yellow Jacket. The Yellow Jacket is the competition today for Rich and Gilbert, along with T.D. Steele, his partner, and uh, they are taking advantage of this team of Yellow Jacket and T.D. Steele. Look at this. I don't, I don't know if T.D.'s going to be able to uh, be much help with us this match after taking three of those suplexes out here on the floor. Boy, I mean, uh, right smack on the studio floor, too. Tag goes. Gilbert to Wildfire Tommy Rich. We'll watch it, Doug. Just that's why we came, as a matter of fact. On the shoulder of Gilbert, and he oh, boy. backbreaker right down onto the floor. One, two, three. And Don't get it. up from that. You won't get up from that. That'll do it, Richard Gilbert. Victoria. I think they just killed that guy. What's his name? The Bumblebee? Call 911, Lance. He's dead. We'll take time out, and we'll be back in just one moment. 